Hello friends, this is Ashirwad here and in this video we are going to discuss a program of checking whether a given number is a palindrome number or not and uh, guys actually one of my subscribers uh, requested uh, me to uh, make this video on this program so let us begin so first of all let us discuss uh, what uh, exactly is a palindrome number if I store a number for example n1 with any value and if I obtain the reverse of this number and then I check whether the original number and its reverse form is equal or not. If they are equal we say the number is a palindrome number and if they are not equal it's not a palindrome so this is basically what it is so to check this program the logic that we have to follow goes like this we store a number for example n1 and from this number we take out digits one by one from the right hand side so we have to take out this digit first then this and then this so of course to achieve this we have to understand two things that if we divide a number with 10 or simply we take modulus uh, of uh, a number with 10 we always get the remainder as the last digit like in this case 123 mod 10 will always give me 3 and also after taking 3 out from the number the number should no longer be 1 2 3 in fact it should be 1 2 so that next time when we take the remainder like this it should give me 2 and next time the number should become 1 and now if we do this we get the remainder 1 so here we have got remainder firstly 3 then 2 and then 1 okay so after getting all uh, 3 digits we have to uh, put these digits in another number for example n2 in a way that the number becomes the exact reverse of the original number like this so we have to apply a simple calculation here that if we send the first remainder 3 to n2 okay in the next step it should be 3 2 and in the next step it should be 3 2 1 now how do we achieve this okay let me explain you logic is quite simple if we have 3 in n2 okay and we have the remainder 2 okay for example okay we have taken out 3 already and we have added this 3 to n2 now we want to add 2 which is the next remainder from this uh, 12 okay after digging out 3 so to add 2 after 3 to this number n2 we have to apply this formula we multiply the, the number with 10 and we add the remainder so for example if we have 3 already in n2 and we multiply it with 10 and we add the remainder which is 2 so what we get is 30 here plus 2 makes it 32 
which means after 3 I have got 2 and similarly in the next step if we apply the same formula where the remainder is 1 okay 1 is taken out from this number of course so the formula goes the same way but it will be calculated like this 32 into 10 plus the, the incoming remainder 1 and that makes it 320 plus 1 ultimately 321 and this is how we get the reverse of the original number now once we have obtained the reverse all we need is to check uh, whether the original number and its reverse form is equal or not so this is basically the logic of the program uh, i hope uh, the logic is clear to you so let's try to implement the same uh, by using uh, this java program so let me declare an integer variable n with a number so i'll be doing integer dot percent and i'm going to ask this value from user so j option pane dot show input dialog and i say enter number now this is the number i want to get the reverse of uh, let me actually call it n1 now let's declare few variables i am declaring r for getting the remainder one more variable r e in fact let it be n2 the n2 will initially be 0 okay and uh, one more variable I I need a temporary variable called temp which initially stores the original number itself okay why am I doing it because once I start taking out digits from the original number 3 2 and then 1 the original number will be lost the value of this n1 will be lost it will eventually become zero so i must uh, uh, declare a variable uh, for example temp here in which i can preserve the number and later on if even if temp uh, becomes uh, zero i have the original number in n1 now the second thing is i need a loop here okay because I have to keep on taking out the digits one by one until the number becomes zero. So the loop goes like this while I want to execute this loop till this temp remains greater than zero. Okay you know this temp is the original number itself now the logic I am going to put here is uh, goes like this first of all I need to take out the remainder so I write r is equal to temp modulus 10 okay this will give me the last digit of whatever number I enter here in n1 okay then i have to apply that formula and in which variable i am going to to store the reversed number it is n2 so n2 is initially 0 so i write n2 is equal to whatever n2 is multiplied by 10 and add the remainder so in the first step n2 which is 0 multiplied by 10 becomes 0 and 0 plus the remainder 3 3 is what we are going to get here so it will uh, store 3 in n2 and that is exactly what we want the last thing remains inside this loop is of course when we come back 
to this loop the next time this instruction executes it should give me the remainder 2 and to achieve that I have uh, to uh, actually I have to make sure that uh, for example if the, the original number is uh, 123 and I have taken out 3 already and I have placed it in N2 the next incoming remainder is 2 ok so I have to get this 2 and in order to achieve that I have to make sure that the number remains 12 it's not 123 for example so all I need to say is that I have to cut down one digit from the original number now to, to achieve this the logic is quite simple if I do this for example n1 is equal to n1 divided by 10 so as you already know that when an integer is divided by integer it will always give the result in the form of an integer so in this case n1 will be storing what value if the number is 123 it is 12 so th uh, this point portion or the decimal portion will simply be ignored and that is what I want here so I write temp which which stores the copy of the original number okay so temp is equal to temp divided by 10 so if uh, if the entered number is 123 after executing this line temp will store 12 now with this value I go back to the loop and the condition is checked as whether 12 is greater than 0 or not so it is true we get inside we take another remainder which is this time 2 okay and this 2 is placed here along with uh, the value of n2 and the n2 was 3 in the previous uh, uh, iteration okay so 3 multiplied by 10 30 and the remainder 2 will make it 32 so this is how the logic is going so that's pretty much it for this loop structure when uh, temp becomes 0 the loop will terminate and we come here now at this point we have obtained the reversed number so we can simply put an if condition now if n1 and n2 are equal j option pane dot show message dialog null comma palindrome that is yes the number is palindrome otherwise we say that not palindrome so that's it for this program let's run it and test it uh, if it is working or not so I have executed the program and uh, it should ask me the number first here so I enter 123 so what message uh, should it display when I hit ok it's not palindrome because 123 is not equal to 321 so it is doing exactly that now if I run the program one more time and now if I enter a palindrome number okay for example 1 2 3 2 1 that is 12321 and you know if I reverse this number I get the same 12321 so if my logic is correct it should now display a message palindrome
so perfectly working so this is the uh, program of checking the whether the given number is palindrome or not i hope the logic explained here and the program itself is uh, clear to all of you thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe